Hi everyone, this is Jay and we are at Pangyo Techno Valley with Amy from Ferry to learn all about their new solution and kind of what they do. Hi Amy, how are you today? Hi, nice meeting you Jay. It's Ferry, correct? Yes. Ferry, okay. So I'm really curious, what kind of company do you guys have? Yeah, so we build technology like Ferry. Like Ferries, okay. <laughs> so what we do is we build a, uh, we build a new mobile technology that understands what users do within phone. So for example, okay. uh, with our technology, um, we can understand whether a user goes to one app or which browser, which websites they are browsing. We can recognize that event and then we help mobile app businesses to use this information to be able to um, you know, give the more appropriate information to users. For example, okay. we work with like credit card companies. Okay. So credit card companies, they have all these like benefits that's targeted per user. Uh, and but from user perspective, they don't know which uh, benefits they can apply or they can use on different shopping sites. So what credit card companies do for uh, using our technology is that they launch a service for users to um, uh, it's um, we call it like a shopping assistant. Um, okay. When user goes to like for example G Market or Coupang, uh, credit card company will send a notification to them, being like, oh, uh, you have this credit card benefit in G Mart you can use. So this information oh. can be given to the user because the car car company knows where you're shopping. Okay. So I have several questions around this. Mm -hmm. With AI being the big new thing, is does your product or does your service simply analyze data? Is it using AI to analyze data? So it, it's a marketing, like in simple terms, it's a marketing company, right? right? Okay, and I understand the whole fairy thing. Usually I would use the term if it's products like middleman or like a middleman in a service, but the fairy is a much more kind of, um, I, I think, I think, the right term in this case, because you're, you're the, the little fairy kind of <laughs> flying around, helping all these little mm -hmm. businesses kind of small out of the way, mm -hmm. helping these businesses analyze their customer and user base mm -hmm. and provide data uh, that helps them target the right customers for their service, right? Yeah, specifically it would be like targeting the right moment. Targeting the right moment? Right. Oh, that's a much better way to mm. put it. Yeah. So. It, are you using AI? Are you using, is it just an, ana, is it an algorithm that's analyzing all this? Mm -hmm. How does your service work? Right, so because privacy is very important, mm -hmm. key theme, um, as you know, and it's going to grow. Uh, what we uh, found out, what we also put in portals is that we have to make this data to be very privacy safe. Okay. Um, so our technology works on device. Okay. So you could have, you might have heard of like Samsung saying on device AI. Yeah, I, I have, yeah. Sure, yeah. sure, sure, sure. Yeah, so like our technology is uh, AI algorithmic uh, engine that resides within the phone and we recognize those events within the phone and then we allow um, mobile apps to send a notification based on that. Okay, so you just mentioned, I understand now, so it's an AI analyzation algorithm that's analyzing uh, all these mm -hmm. moments mm -hmm. um, to help improve marketing within certain areas that the, cu that the service is being used in, but you just mentioned Samsung on-device AI. Mm -hmm. You're not Samsung, so mm -hmm. what makes your kind of, what makes your service unique compared to any other service that is similar to this? Right, so we are actually in the first to discover this technology, and we are the first to in, in, the, in the world? In the world, yeah. So we Whoa. consider patents to be very important. Okay. Uh, and so we have a lot of IPs uh, that are related to this technology we, that we hold. Um, and we, yeah, we're the first to start this business. And when we say, uh, on-device AI is a term that can be applied to any technology that does uh, uh, annotation, analyzation, any of the this computing within the uh, within the edge devices. Ah. So that's where we the, where we categorize under. Obviously, I'm not the expert in this field, so <laughs> I'm I'm learning as you're talking right mm -hmm. now. Um, okay, so who's your target market with this? I mean, mostly. Um, not every interview, but a lot of interviews I do, they're tangible products. And mm -hmm. so, you know, a tangible product is targeting a specific market, but you are a service. Right. Um, are you guys solely, I, I guess, B2B? Yes. This is not a B2C service at all, yeah, right? Yeah, we are B2B. Okay. So, uh, you can call us as a B2B SaaS, so software as a service. Ah. So, we provide, we built an SDK that goes to our customers, like for example, a credit card company's app. Uh -huh. And then uh, we call that an SDK. Okay. Um, and that 
engine after certain permissions provide, provided uh, starts running uh, within the, our customer's app. So uh, we are B2B, yeah, we, we are B2B software. Yeah. Okay, B2B software. Um, this app, you said you're the first in the world to develop something mm -hmm. like this, this technology. Mm -hmm. You're a Korean company, so mm -hmm. obviously my next question is, is this technology, is your service, is your company operating abroad as well or just in the domestic market? Yes, great question. Um, so we operate within Android and iOS, so meaning it's not like a, uh, it can be targeted to any phones that has Android or iOS, meaning it can be just global by default. Um, we, uh, there are some like uh, kind of the, the service accuracy and the reliability that we need to take care of. Them. That's why we started just focusing on Korean clients first. Okay. After getting the references with the Korean clients, we are planning to go global, and then we are actually already in talks with some global companies. Oh, that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. So it can go on any iOS or Android device. Mm -hmm. So when you say you're in talk with other companies, I'm trying to understand as, as we go on with the interview too. Basically, if it can go in any iOS or Android device, if any of these, I mean, I use a Samsung phone, if this Samsung phone is being exported abroad, isn't your technology technically already abroad or do you need a third party company? Like it's, this is not a preloaded technology on the device, right? Mm -hmm. This is a technology that you first, as a B2B service, you contact the service of the, like you said, credit card, for example, you're working with, and then it's put onto the device? Yeah, so it... It's not preloaded is what I mean out of the box once the device is activated, right? Uh, yes, it gets shipped with an app. So you will, whenever you okay. download a f app, you, you know, or you can update the app as well, right? Right. It goes with the app. It comes with the app. Yeah. So not, okay, but it's on device for security reasons. That's the whole reason why you said, okay, I, I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm totally understanding yeah. this now. So you used Korea being Korean company as a benchmark, which is great because t Korea is such a technolo technology forward country now. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a small country that has, has such like big exports like K-beauty, K-technology, k, k drawing, everything now. Mm -hmm. And with Samsung being such a big company, everyone kind of knows Korea is this technological giant at this moment. So you used one of, the ba one of the best countries for your market or your test market, and now you're ready to also bring this abroad. What helped you get this company or service started? I mean, you're here at, you know, Pangyo Techno Valley Startup. What helped you get your company off the ground? What are your future business plans as a company? Right, um, yeah, so, I started with, uh, I, when I first started the company, I just had a technology and we now we have a group of team members of, of seven uh, who are uh, building this together. Okay. And I think uh, in looking over the last two and a half years of startup journey, uh, getting the help of government funding was really, really helpful for sure. us uh, to, you know, um, because our uh, service is not going to make money right off the way. Right. We need our R and D cost right. uh, and investment. Sure. And also the Pangu Technology Valley, uh, thankfully, hosted us, so we were able to be here without much uh, any of the without much cost. So that was right. really helpful. What about future business? You said mm -hmm. you're getting ready to export abroad. Mm -hmm. What are your future business plans to help keep this going? You said you got it started with a lot of government, you know, grants and funding and being here in Pangu Techno Valley, helping mm -hmm. with. I mean, I, I can't put it anywhere with it, but, but rent costs because mm -hmm. it's so expensive to run any type of business, you know, out of right. Seoul in general. So being here, what is your future business plans going for? Yeah, so uh, future-wise, like we have some big company, big clients in Korea that we already had a contract with Great. and that we're, they're going to be launching soon. Okay. So together, I think we're going to be hitting um, about like 10 million to 20 million uh, user apps, you know, devices where our SDKs will be put in. That will be like a goal for this year. Um, oh. And also future business wise, uh, we're tackling how we can be helpful in other global markets. So we're already in talks with like two other global co co companies. Um, they have, they have like, some of them have over like 50 million users as well. So sure, the bigger yeah, the bigger the, better, the co yeah. country, the yeah. more users. Mm -hmm. Is there a specific? Can I ask this? Is there a specific your country or area you're looking at? Yeah. So like, uh, we are definitely interested in U.S. Okay. So um, that's the one target area and the clients that we're I'm looking into, and there are, there's also other um, like a 
so we're actually interest, interested in t working with uh, telco companies. Okay. So the, some telco companies have interest in us, and then we are not really limiting any of the like you know region. Yeah. All right. Last question for you. We're here at Pango Tech, Pangyo Techno Valley. You mentioned before about helping out, you know, as a startup uh, with low low facilities and rent costs, for example, about being here. What are other advantages of working here in Pangyo? Mm, other advantages? Mm -hmm. Uh, Do you guys, I know I've, when I've interviewed other companies, a lot, a lot said it helped the people here, the networking, helping move their product abroad. Um, I mean, most people, I, not everyone, but a lot of the people I interview, their, their English is not maybe as good as yours. And I think you mentioned earlier when we were just talking before the interview that you worked at Google as well. So perhaps you don't need as much help kind of pushing your technology or product mm, abroad. Yeah. Um, perhaps you do. And you're a service, a software service. So do you find the networking here to be advantageous or is it mo mostly just the location and the help, you know, getting a startup off the ground without having to be in a physical location in Seoul, paying the high rent costs and stuff? What's the biggest advantage of being here? Um, I think the biggest advantage is rent costs. Okay, yeah. for, for your company yeah. specifically. <laughs> and the second is location because it's close to Seoul. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have a lot of like client meetings that we go to and it's, uh, I can get there pretty quick. Like, for example, I know there are some other t startup uh, buildings in Gwangyo or Suwon. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't think we can go there because of the client meetings uh, happening a lot. Because of the distance, because yeah, you guys need to be close to all yeah. that proximity. Yeah, and the third thing is that um, we are now hosted in a uh, global uh, strategy center by y, uh, y and Archer. Okay. And uh, they provide really good programs for us to connect and network with, like, uh, you know, uh, other professionals, like for example, like legal or quick from legal sure, to Sure, the other, the other the things, other things that help, things. To, you know, that keep yeah, a business running yeah. and going. Yeah, and also they also help us connect with um, other, our potential clients as well. And those are really helpful too. Great, wonderful. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you're busy, especially <laughs> with your goal of 10 to yeah. 20 million <laughs> users and clients. So I really thank you for uh, sharing your time with us today. And yeah. Amy with Ferry, and this little fairy kind of flies around <laughs> your phone and helps you with security and helps to target customer base, uh, based with marketing and you, specifically CRM, which is customer relationship, relationship. management, mm -hmm. right? Software. Mm -hmm. um, thank you so much for spending yeah, time with you. us today. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Jay. Thank you.